Hey, hey. What do you think about Miss Ebony and the conversation or interview that she had with Miss Ayanla not too long ago? Do you feel like she was out of order? Or do you feel like, hey, it is what it is. It's her perspective and her prerogative to feel how she wants to feel. I wanted to come on and just give my thought process on the conversation between these two ladies. And I honestly seem to think that she just didn't articulate it well. Or how it sounded just didn't come over well to the general public. And then again... You ask yourself, does she really have to? Does she really have to appease the general public, make it sound good to us? Or is she entitled to feel how she wants to feel? The only thing I can do at this point is give my thought process. That's all we can do. And I honestly feel like it really doesn't matter about your financial status, the tax bracket that you're in, what you own and what you don't own. We pretty much have lived long enough and have had a lot of experiences with each other. And I mean, men and women, to know that the more you deal with someone, it's what's housed in that individual, how they were raised, how they act, their ways, their habits that they have formed. Those make up the individual. You can meet a doctor, a pastor, a lawyer, and they cannot have good intentions for you, even though the money may be there. I don't think it's really fair to kind of put it on the tax bracket and say, well, you know, if it's an essential worker, I can't do that. It would have to be someone who owns a business or owns the actual garbage truck, if you will. That's neither here nor there. And I think it's kind of unfortunate that she has the perspective that she has, but ask yourself, is she right to have it? I think it would have been fair for her to say, and I really don't know much about her, but it could have been articulated to say, I feel that I'm in a particular status and I choose to only date men or let the men pursue me that are on my level, whatever her level may be. I don't necessarily think it has to do with income status, tax bracket, essential worker, non-essential worker, white collar worker, neither here nor there. It's the individual And the more you learn them and their ways, you then get to see if a person is compatible with you. So was it articulated the best in my opinion? No. Is she right to have that thought process? Sure. But we both live long enough to know the lawyer, the doctor can do you just as bad as someone is driving a bus. Someone is driving a bus can treat you like gold. Money doesn't make you nor break you.